This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So today, guys, we're going to take a look at a pair of single axle Western Star semis. Now, these are modded versions of the in game Hulk truck. On the left, we have a service truck version that includes a repair and refuel trigger, as well as a trailer hitch and a fifth wheel hitch and on the right we have a what I like to call a toy hauler truck uh, it is perfect for hauling those big fifth wheel trailers maybe a big large fifth wheel um, animal hauler or a big large fifth wheel um, flatbed or any other form of trailer and it also has a rear hitch let's go ahead and take a look at both of these in the shop before we dive into any sort of testing. So if we go to vehicles and then trucks, scroll all the way over here, we're gonna find the Hulk service truck and the Hulk toy truck. Both are $115,000 and they are variants of the Hulk here, which was a triaxle truck in game. Now, both of these trucks can be found over at American Eagles Modding. Now, let me tell you, that over at American Eagles Modding, you're going to have to sign up for an account to be able to download these. I can't download these without having an account over there. And I think sometimes folks will have issues with the, um, the confirmation email going to your spam folder. So be sure to check your spam folder if you're waiting on a confirmation email from that site. So here we are at the Hulk service truck, 400 horsepower, 1200 liter fuel tank. 49 mile per hour top speed and change the color of the truck and we can go in here we can have a galvanized stack go with a chrome stack or we can go with straight pipes little little clappers on there the rain clappers let's just go to chrome stacks and then we've got several engine options Detroit diesel 13 15 Mercedes-Benz, which increases horsepower to 500. Cat C15, 575 horsepower. Cummins 15, 600 horsepower. Detroit Diesel 16, 625. And we're back to the Detroit Diesel 13. Let's go ahead and spec this thing out all the way. $138,000 fully configured. $7,038 to lease. $1,380 per day and $28.98 per operating hour. So let's go ahead and get one of these. And then let's take a look at the toy truck. So here we are at the toy truck. Pretty much the same general configuration as the service truck, except you've just got this big kind of flatbed on the rear. This does have straps on the back. So once again, we have the ability to change the color of the truck. Now, interesting enough, this one starts out with 400 horsepower and 880 liter fuel tank. The reason the service truck has the greater fuel capacity is the mod author has basically included fuel that would be stored in the refuel tanks with the truck fuel. Um, so it has a larger capacity because it's being accounted for with respect to the refueling capability of that truck. So we, once again, we have galvanized chrome or straight stacks. And we have the Detroit Diesel 13, 15, Mercedes-Benz, Cat C15, Cummins ISX 15, Detroit Diesel 16, as far as engine options. As configured with simply the color change, $6,018 to lease, $1,180 per day, and 24.78 per operating hour. Now, I do want to show you that there is a slight warning in the log related to this toy truck hauler. Now, I've tested out as much as I can test with this, and I'm not running across any sort of issues with this warning. Not really sure what it relates to, but something extra 
is in here, I believe, uh, that is causing this warning. But again, it is just a warning, not an actual error. Let's go over here and take a look at the trucks as we have configured them. First up, let's go into the Detroit Diesel 16 service truck. Turn the lights on. We've got our first stage lights. We've got running lights on the side and on the back. Second stage lights, we have our high beams with some spotlights on the front. We have the capability of doing four ways left and right. Puts blinkers on the air cleaners. Well, it's on the back here. We have reverse, of course, brake lights. We've got a pair of beacons on the top. And let's take a look at how this thing functions. If we pull up the F1 menu, we can left click and go sideways, left and right, and it opens this left bay, if you will. If we right click and go left and right, it opens the side bay. Now we're gonna leave this side bay open, okay? And if we unfold, then the rear folds down. Now, interestingly enough, kind of engraved or stamped on the back. I think this is really great. Basically says, Eagles Modding, hosted by American Eagles. So that's kind of an a credit to the mod author that did this edit and a credit to where he has uploaded this mod hosted. Find this mod hosted somewhere else, then clearly it's probably been, let's say, stolen as much as rehosted without permission um, by the mod author because he has chosen to have this hosted at American Eagles modding. Got the, the normal interior for the Hulk um, truck here. Very nice interior. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of back up to the toy truck, toy hauler, if you will, because I want to show you where the refueling is. So here on the driver's front corner of the bed. See, we have an R button to start the fuel pump. We hit R. Here, the kind of a um, little engine startup. That is just the um, a welder. Then we've got a red trigger to indicate the refueling. Forward. Back up. Probably doesn't need refueling because it is full. Fuel because we just bought it. Let's turn that off. And if we go over here to the rear of the truck and we hit R to activate service function, okay, we'll see that the gate comes down and we get a red trigger marker over here. And we have the laptop that opens up over here if we have this side open. What we're going to do is let's go ahead and pull on up here to this tractor. Service truck, service trigger goes green. And if we come over here to the laptop, you can see that we have information about the tractor there. Come back here and we can hit the M button. Service menu, you can see we have the ability to do a repair. This is leased, so we can't customize it, or we can just escape. M, R, sorry, disable service menu. Laptop closes up, and the rear gate closes up. Let's close that back up, so wish. See, this truck does have hose hookups. We do have a rear hitch, and we do have a fifth wheel hitch. over here and take a look at toy hauler pretty much the same as the other truck there are no extra functions here we do have straps five straps to show up there so we could put pallets or bales on the back if we so wish we have the same lighting options in fact this it's pretty much the same truck as the service truck with just a different bed on it what I want to do to kind of test both of these trucks out 
is I've got a couple fifth wheel trailers. Got a big text trailer here. We can get it in a standard bumper pull configuration or a gooseneck configuration. Get that variant there. And then I also have here under animal transport, I've got a fifth wheel animal hauler. Those. What we can do now is we can back up, say, to our Wilson Ranch Hand animal hauler. Connect up to that. Works very well. Really nice turning radius on this. This particular trailer does not have hoses, so we won't see the hose hookups. Also go back here to this big text trailer. Up here to the fifth wheel. This one has height adjustment. Go up and down on. Did do a mod review on this big text trailer. It's from Expendables Modding. And we can go over here to bumper hitch, hitch option. And works. Hitch, since it's back from the rear bumper, also allows for very, very good turning radius on that. It's out of the way here. This. Once again, let's demonstrate that the bumper hitch is fine and dandy. So fifth wheel, we'd want to lower the rear gate. Back up. Just raise and lower it should we so wish. Close the rear gate. Oops, just open the trailer. Close the rear door. There you go. There's a little bit of a delay in closing the rear door. So when you do hit that command, don't worry if it happens uh, that you don't see it change right away. There you go. Guys, once again, both of these trucks can be found over at American Eagles Modding. You'll need to sign up for an account over there. If you don't already have one, don't get the confirmation email. Do check in your spam folder. There we are. I think these are two really great American trucks. See, definitely would see this type of a service truck going around to service semis and other large heavy machinery and I've also definitely seen large farms that were fairly well to do would have what I would call these little toy haulers um, to haul around their large fifth wheel um, trailers or either hauling animals flatbeds vehicles whatever so there you go hey guys let me know in the comments what do you think of either of these trucks single axle um, Boy hauler or the single axle service truck. And until next time, happy farming.